welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Sundays with Sully. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share button to stay up to date and in the know with the latest happenings in the marine industry. So, that's out of the way. What are we doing today, guys? You can see we are on the road, and we are actually heading up to John at Clark Island Boatworks to see what he's got going on. We did an episode with him at Lyman Morris a couple weeks ago. Had great response. You guys seem to like seeing these kind of behind the scene and what goes in with the builds. So we've been doing our Bat Cove weekly builds. So I thought, you know what? Let's drop one here on a muscle ridge that Clark Island is doing. Now, I can't necessarily say whose boat it is. It's on a TV show you guys probably watch, and it's pretty fat, and they fish for tuna. Um, so... Without further ado, let's go hop up to Clark Island. I'll show you guys what we've got going on there and uh, as this boat gets ready to hit the water in the coming weeks. So let's go check it out, guys. All right, guys. So like I said, we're making the road trip here. We are at Clark Island Boatworks here. As you can see, we've got a boat build in progress here. I wanted to show you guys just kind of a little behind the scenes before everything gets all dialed in. You can see this is literally a bare bones boat. It's a 54. You can see it's got the transom extension on right there. And I want to show you guys this before I show you what's through that door right there. This is kind of what we start with. This is a blank slate, as it were, for the build. So now we make our way through this door. I'm going to show you guys what else we have going on that is almost complete. So we're going to go from that to something like this. Take a look at this one, guys. You kind of see here, this is in the home stretch. I think this boat's going to be hitting the water here for the season very soon and get out there and catch some tuna. And I uh, want to show you guys everything that we have going on on this build here. Like I said, Clark Island, they do phenomenal fab work here and finish work. We've got John from our Belfast office. He's doing all the wiring and getting everything nice, nice to match their caliber of work. So let's hop on board. Let's see what we've got going on. Right as we walk on here, you can't miss this mask, guys. And there's a lot to go over here just on this mask they fabbed up alone. We've got the base for our Simrad Halo radar right there. We've got our ACR spotlight. We've got our Cyox camera right there. I think there's another one of those we're going to show you in a second. We've got six total of the Lumatech lights, as you see up here. Then you also see the KVH. TV3 dome because, well, if you're going to be out fishing, you might as well watch the game on a Saturday or a Sunday, right? So you got the ability to do that. So that's all happening on the mast alone. Like I said, there's just a lot to take in right there. And then we see some of the beautiful fab work that they're doing here. If we look here, this is all done in-house. This nice stainless work for the rear steer station right there. So we make our way up to the pot hauling area here. You can also see some additional fab work that they have done here. And again, this is all done in-house by them and it's just really clean and really nice. One of the other things we've got going on on board this boat, we kind of look around, you see the JL audio system in here. So we're gonna make sure that this boat has great tunes while it is out there and underway. And let's see what else we've got going on. We've got another camera back there. So we're gonna have a really good low light camera on the back deck looking aft. We've got that one on the mast going to be looking forward. And all of that is getting plumbed into the Simrad electronics package on board here. So as we make our way in here, you guys take a quick peek at the dash area and everything's getting laid out here. We have a trio of the Simrad displays. We've got our master volt control. We've got our Simrad autopilot, our Scania engine display. As you can see right there, we've got Scania power down in the bilge and we've got our Fusion Audio, we've got our pair of the ICOMs, we've got our JL Sub, so there's just a lot going on on the helm area here. Another thing that uh, John has been a part of, take a look here, is this really beautiful uh, DC panel right here. This is all done custom for this build, all backlit, everything's nicely labeled, so we've got all of our switches and all of our controls right there. And then if we go around the corner and take another peek, you're going to see there's even more going on right there as well. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go grab some time with John and have him talk about some of the DC wiring, the AC wiring, and some of the stuff that he's got going on on board. So let's hop down there and see what else is going on. 
All right, so like I said, down here, John is actually hard at work. Remember him from our Lyman Morris? Well, guess what? We got him back here, and he is going to town. So, John, why don't you give us a little uh, breakdown of everything you've got going on down here in this build? Um, so we're on uh, a 46 muscle ridge, like Chris was telling you, and um, we're kind of in the heartbeat of the boat. Um, this is your distribution panel for the AC supply. We've got 240 and 120 distribution um, here. Um, we've got 24 volt and 12 volt DC distribution um, on this side, which you saw the panels from the outside. And then we're basically just trying to find real estate to put all the navigation electronic components in and, um, you know, where they're best suited, where they can be accessed for service or updates and, and so forth. But as you can see, it's, it's pretty limited in space. So we have to get creative. Um, we're not always afforded the luxury of having, you know, a full pallet of real estate to put stuff on, but this is working out pretty good. Um, a lot of hours, you know, spent in getting all the wires laid out properly, making sure everything's neat and uh, organized and labeled. And so basically anybody anywhere that is in our industry that comes on board to service it can recognize what's what and have a, a kind of a go-to um, when they're doing some service work. But so yeah, I'm standing in the head. Um, this will eventually be a toilet right here. Um, so there's a, a small countertop and so forth. There's a full size shower. And um, this is kind of the home away from home when we're doing projects like this, so. And this is also getting the full complement of Lumitech lighting on here too, right? Yeah, so if you, um, if you come over to this section here, um, we got a POCO distributor distribution point that's um, in the cabinet that I'm working on behind me. And then this specific boat, I sent Lumitech um, all the ex existing lighting that's going um, or currently installed in the hull, um, through the house tops, underneath the gunnels, and they graciously sent me back a nice diagram so we can interface this whole system and actually run five zones. So the owner will be able to uh, run the lighting control from the MFD. He can run the lighting control from a soft button that we have um, set up for him. And he can also do the app um, on his phone and be able to control all the lighting. So, And it's not a small lighting package going on this boat either, right? No, there is, uh, hey Barry, 16 underwater lights, 12 underwater lights. Yeah, yeah this. More. Yeah, between all the tanks and the stern. Yeah, we've got stern lights. Um, under hull lights, we've got all the gunnels have. So this is going to look really good on film. Yeah, under the overhead uh, lighting, underside. Yeah, under uh, gunnel, everything. All of it's RGB and uh, full color. Yeah, pretty impressive. So it'll be um, it'll be pretty cool when it's all fired up. The cool thing too is when he comes on the boat, say it's dark out, you know, he doesn't have to come over and worry about hitting battery switches. Uh, we set it up where he can just push this button once, and it'll give him the first designated light control. Uh, he could push it twice and then another section will come on and then he can get you know, uh, acclimated in the boat and turn things on. So he's not waiting on the MFD to load. He's not trying to pair an app. He's just got a quick, a quick button that he can come on and kick some lights on. So That's yeah. awesome. And we can do that because of the PLI, PLI lighting with the Lumatech on here. We're able to go in there. It's a simple two wire setup. So we've got the ability to trigger that on and off and John's getting that all set up. And yeah, uh, so basically I found a home which um, it's kind of tough to see, but basically we put that on the back side of this panel right here and um, it's easier access from the helm area. So if you ever have to get into service, you just take this cover off, you can come right in and get to it. And then we do distribution boxes to keep all the light zones nice and organized. So if there's ever a troubleshoot because we've got a light out, we just go to one spot, open the cover up, everything's labeled. We isolate that light, give it power, see what's going on, and uh, it makes it easier for for serviceability. So, but yeah, this is um, this is it right now. We're, we're awesome. trying to crank along and um, collectively here with the guys at Clark Island Boatworks, we're we're all working together as a team and and really trying to get this thing wrapped up and in the water for the owner. Awesome. Well, John, thank you very much for your time. I know you're busy uh, back here hanging out, getting all the wiring done, getting everything labeled, making this thing nice, nice, like we've come to expect in all of our builds here. Thanks for your time. Uh, as always, make sure to give us a like, follow, subscribe, share on YouTube and Instagram, at Navtronics. Doesn't cost you a dime and helps us out a ton. And uh, I don't know where we're going to be next week. Maybe I'll get back to the studio one of these days. And uh, 
We'll see you then. Peace.